this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play guitar solos with only a four-note pattern. So if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe if you want to see more of these. But I'll tell you, this is breakthrough for me. Blues guitar, okay? Most people, me included, whenever the blues song comes on and I want to play guitar to it, I'll do the, like, for instance, in the E, this is the key of E, E pentatonic scale. <laughs> And then, you know, you'll have other kinds of ways you can do that same pentatonic scale just with the, you know, across the neck. For instance. So what this is, though, this is a completely revolutionary, in my mind, approach at playing blues. Okay, so for instance, here we go, E minor pentatonic scale. This is what I normally do. And it doesn't sound bad, but you know what I'm saying? This is what I normally do. Okay, and that's all cool, well, and good. But now, this new approach allows you to do this. Okay, so here's how you do it. Whatever the root of the pentatonic scale is that you're using, simply go down five frets. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so not, count, not counting the E, you count right after the E. So one, two, three, four, five. And you end up on the B. But it doesn't matter where you are. Like if, you, if you're doing a different key, you just go five from that. So once you do that, all you're gonna have to do, this is so cool, is make this shape. And all that is, is, is I'm using my pointer finger to hit the 7th fret, the ninth fret on the E string, and then the 7th fret and the 10th fret on the A string. And that's the whole thing you have to remember. Okay, now what you do then, then you gotta learn, you gotta know about octaves, if you don't know about octaves already. So, an octave, there's three octaves from this B, right? And it's kind of good to practice that. Use your pointer finger. All you're going to do is you're going to do that exact same shape in each one of those octaves. Okay, so. And that's the scale. Now, just doing that alone. If I can hit the right notes, it's cool. Sounds fine, but like anything else, you want to make it you want to make it more musical. And so, let's say you do what, you know you, you can apply all the patterns that you are already using on the pentatonic scale on this. So, for instance, like one of these, one of the things we can do with the pentatonic scales. <laughs> same thing with this do you get this this is what it sounds like and that's it it's revolutionary it's not a pentatonic scale, it's just four notes taking it up and down the octaves. Now that's only the first level, that's the first level is that. The next thing you can also do, you can also do the same thing, 7-9 on the E, 7-10 on the A, but add the 7-9-10 on the A. So rather than just going, you could go, and then you just do apply the same principle. Okay, so that's the next level. You do the same thing. You can do the same kind of, you know, patterns and everything, just adding that extra note. But you can also do the third level, which is adding another note. You can add the tenth note on the E string. So you got seven, nine, ten on each string. The E and the A. And then it's do the same exact thing. But not only can you do it on the on the octaves, but you can also do it on the G string. So you can go. Then 
Wants in the G. So you got all those notes to choose from in this one pattern. To me, that's revolutionary. You know, if you're trying to get out of the pentatonic box every now and then, there you go. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe to see more. Mm -hmm.